Which of the following describes a cation? A. An aluminum ion. B. An oxygen atom that has gained two electrons. C. An ion with 17 protons and 18 electrons. Or D. An ion with more neutrons than protons. A cation is a positively charged ion, so obviously the correct answer is A. The charge of the aluminum ion is positive 3. Let's see what's wrong with the other choices. A positive charge is obtained when an atom loses electrons. A gain of electrons, as in choice B, produces a negatively charged ion, or an anion. How about choice C? If a cation is formed by the loss of electrons, then a cation must have more protons than electrons. In choice C, we have more electrons. In fact, we calculate the charge of an ion for, from the number of protons and electrons. The charge of an ion is equal to the number of protons minus the number of electrons. So, for choice C, the charge is the number of protons, 17, minus the number of electrons, 18, which is equal to negative 1. In fact, the ion described in choice C is the chloride ion. Finally, let's look at choice D. It doesn't tell us if we have more protons than electrons, or more electrons than protons. Neutrons have no charge. So choice D does not give us enough information to determine if the ion is a positive or negative. If you're wondering how we figured out that choice C describes a chloride ion, here's how it's done. We refer to the periodic table. Here's chlorine. Its atomic number is 17. Any atom with 17 protons is a chlorine atom and any ion that has 17 protons is derived from a chlorine atom. Since an atom is neutral, it has the same number of protons and electrons. So a chlorine atom has 17 protons and 17 electrons. An ion with 17 protons and 18 electrons is an ion derived from a chlorine atom with a negative one charge. We call this ion the chloride ion.